Okay, YouTubers, a real quick game of interplanetary ice spike going on here. Um, there's this image from Sol 1272 up here. Okay, Sol 1272. And we have this image here. Back in Gale Crater on Mars, of course. And we have what looks like a tiny little house here. Now, I'm not saying it is a house, I'm just saying it's shaped a bit like one, okay? Now, this was brought to my attention by Martin Graining, who recently posted this on Alien Life Space Moon Earth Anomalies and no doubt on other Facebook groups as well. And uh, I recognised the image straight away because I'd actually already downloaded this image. In fact, I've got it here in a folder which dates back to, what's this date here? 5th of the 3rd, 2016. Okay, and I've got it up here. Uh, my original folder here um, dated the 8th of the 3rd. So within a few days of that, actually, uh, I've got it up here, and here's the original clips I took of it. I'll show you those now. These aren't as good quality as the ones I've just done, um, which are slightly clearer, okay? Now, let's look at the, the new clips, because they are better. Uh, because if you, when, when you go to the page, one thing I have noticed recently, uh, I don't know if, if this was always the case, if you right click on the image and save it, you get a slightly better quality image, rather than going to the, full resolution one here, it will be slightly smaller in actual dimensions, but it doesn't have all the compression lines all over it, which means that you get a smoother, slightly clearer picture, okay? And I'll show you that now up in this folder. I've got both versions of the image, and in fact, um, we have this one here. This is the normal JPEG, which is 231 kilobytes, okay? but it's 1344 by 1200. And there's the BR2 JPEG, which is the one you get when you right click on the image and download it. It's 363 kilobytes, so that's quite a lot more information in there. And uh, even though the image is smaller, it's 1024 by 914, when you actually look at the image up close, you don't get all these compression lines, or not as much at least, as you do on the other normal JPEG, okay? So that means that the image is less distorted, even though um, it's slightly smaller in actual size. It, it's got more information in it. So that's what I've been doing recently. And here it is. I mean, it looks like the, the side of a house or some kind of box. I mean, it can, could it really possibly be a house that small? I mean, this is literally probably only about five, four or five inches high, possibly six okay because we're not seeing the bottom part of the structure here okay very small indeed and this looks pr pretty grungy I know but that's just the way all these images are I'll show you the clips now and you'll be able to see it a bit clearer here we have a raw clip and you can see this detail here with what looks like the, the sort of apex part of uh, the house a house or a small house but of course this the scale is all wrong this is tiny and it even seems to have a door here now it may not be this may actually be part of um, a box or some kind of uh, burial structure of some sort it could have been part of a, um, a coffin or even a small uh, dolmen or something like that where somebody would bury who knows I'm just kind of guessing here but it's very odd indeed and uh, thanks for my team to bringing my attention to it again because basically this looks like an intelligent structure what can I say look at the shape of it it has like a little door thing here so that's it for now um, answers on the postcard as usual could, is it possible there could be a house this tiny I don't really think so even though some of the other things I found are very small this, this is just way too small and uh, it doesn't really make any sense let's have a look at the negative there we go, you can see that a little bit more clearly now, the edge of that. Is it just a random rock? Could it be some kind of uh, box or burial structure? Who knows? Absolutely no idea. I'm just trying to make sense out of the chaos as usual. Okay, thank you for watching everybody. Clips coming up now.